friends, I'm Ms. Maria from the Van Wezo. Welcome to our Art of Works Anywhere video, Speaking with Intent, where we explore the importance of the actor's voice. Actors must use projection so that they can be clearly understood as they communicate to an audience. How do you use your voice to communicate your feelings and ideas? To better understand the work of an actor, let's learn some specific vocabulary related to our voices. Projection. Projection is the placement and delivery of volume, clarity, and distinctness of voice for communicating to an audience. Diction. Diction is the clarity with which somebody pronounces words when speaking, how the tongue, roof of the mouth, teeth, and breath control speech. Volume. Volume is the degree of loudness or intensity of a voice. Loud, soft, whisper. Pitch. Pitch is the highness or lowness of the voice, also known as intonation in speaking. Pace. Pace is the speed with which text is read or recited. The speed with which we speak conveys feeling or urgency. It also determines how well we can be understood to an audience. Have you ever wondered when it is appropriate to use a loud voice? Hello? Yes! Watch out! When would you expect to use or hear a soft voice? What kind of things can we express when we change the pitch or volume of our voice? Let's explore. First, let's do a quick warm up using some tongue twisters. Tongue twisters are great tools actors use to practice diction, pacing, projection, volume, and pitch. First, say it slow. Fresh fried fish. Now let's speed it up. Fresh fried fish, fresh fried fish, fresh fried fish. That gets tricky, right? Try another one. Slippery southern snakes. Slippery southern snakes. Slippery southern snakes, slippery southern snakes, slippery southern snakes. Now let's do an exercise called Color Your Words to help us explore emotional expression using the voice. The voice changes when we're feeling a certain way. For example, Breezy could have an up and down pitch soft voice. Windy could have a louder and stronger, perhaps a deeper voice. What happens with your voice face and body when you say the word cold, hot, wavy, sick, harsh, gentle. When actors change the vocal color of their words, it can change the meaning or imply character emotion. Let me show you in this simple nursery rhyme. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Let's color it. Let's do the entire rhyme in the same vocal color. For example, first, fast and choppy. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now, slower and wavy. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Which way do you prefer? Which colors are more appropriate for this nursery rhyme? How does the pace of speaking affect the meaning of text or ideas? Most of the time, actors will practice like this and choose different colors for their words. Every line or every word can have a different color. That's how many characters are created. The way we speak gives clues about how we're feeling and what we're trying to communicate. The voice can change in pitch and volume depending on our needs. The voice is really important for an actor. It identifies a character's traits, allows the actor to clearly communicate thoughts, ideas, and emotions to an audience. Next time you're reading your favorite book, give it a try. Practice reading out loud and color the words. Add facial expression to make the words come to life. 
And if you can, share with us your thoughts, ideas, and pictures at the school time at the Van Wezel Facebook page. Thank you for joining me today. Goodbye for now, friends.